Soils that are deposited in floodplains contain great variability and are a challenge for engineers and geologists. This is primarily a function of the meandering nature of rivers and flood cycles. As water flows around a bend, it will move faster on the outside of the bend and slower on the inside of the bend. The higher energy on the outside of the bend leads to erosion, whereas the lower energy on the inside of the bend leads to deposition and formation of point bars containing primarily sand. Over a period of years or decades, this leads to the river having larger and larger meanders. When flooding occurs, large quantities of water come down the river. Rather than travelling around the meanders, the water cuts across them. This results in a section of the meander being cut off. This is called an oxbow lake. Within the lake, the suspended fine grain soil is able to settle out. The flood can also result in the water overflowing the sides of the river. As the water flows out and away from the river, it rapidly loses energy and ultimately dries away. This results in the suspended coarser sands being deposited as levees on the sides of the river and the silts and clays being spread out over the floodplain. Over time, the floodplain will see a succession of these events. This will lead to an environment containing primarily silt and clay floodplain deposits,